which is interestingly the same thing I say to my parents when they ask me about Goddard. <laughs> it's weird. I love coming out here, man. The, just... All right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm from California, as many of you may know. Before I come out here, I usually uh, kick into Manhattan for a few days, and I kick the train up. I, Manhattan's awesome. When I'm out there, uh, I, I end up riding the subway a lot, because that's how you get everywhere. Subway can get pretty boring, so I started like, inventing these games to do when I'm on the subway. And my favorite game to play on the subway is um, try to spot stone people. <laughs> it's awesome. You should do this. Like, whenever you're on the subway or any public transit, it's super easy. All you do, all right, so you get a seat that's kind of about like the end of the car, you know? And then you, you lean forward in your seat and put your hands like this. And you start going like that. <laughs> and you just do this for like two or three minutes. And then when you stop, you listen for people going, no! <laughs> so I, start, I started seeing someone recently, uh, for the first time in a while. Um, she, she, uh, she texted me recently, uh, hey, I think you're really cute when you're sleeping. And I texted her back, bitch, I look cute all the time. <laughs> so I'm single. <laughs> I've actually, it's, it's been a while, I've been single for a while. It's, it's weird, because like, I didn't realize how long it had been. Because when you're in a relationship, you're just so busy, you're just always doing stuff. But when you're single, I just realized I just, I just had all this time on my hands. Just all this time, just all over my hands. Uh, I, had to, I had to scoop a bunch of time out of my shower drain the other day. So if there's any, if there's any single women in the audience, I will make time for you. <laughs> but be careful, be careful, because time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> so, um, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things that people do in this world that really get on my nerves, that really annoy me. Just like they, they, I'm sure everyone has these pet peeves and whatnot, but, uh, and I wish that when, when someone did something that pissed me off, I wish that I could, like, get back at them in some, like, in some way that would just, like, you know, they, they know what they did, I would just get back, but I don't want to, like, hurt people, I don't want to, like, I read a lot of comics, so I wish that I had a superpower, and the superpower that I wish I had is I wish that I had the ability to, with my mind, give people food out. I think that would just be, that would be the best revenge for anyone annoying me. Like, alright, so I'm driving my car, and this guy cuts me off, boop, boop, now he's allergic to chocolate. Enjoy Kara. It's terrible. <laughs> or, uh, I'm at a comedy show, and this guy's not laughing at any of my jokes, boop, boop, now he's lactose intolerant. Next time he eats pudding, he's gonna shit for three days. Or, uh, or I just sneezed, and I got in sick as tight. That's not really that big a deal. Boop, star fruit. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll, we'll come up with a lot. Uh, so I've been doing this comedy thing for a while, and I really dig it. I'm really, I'm really enjoying, enjoying the stand-up thing. But I kind of I know in the back of my mind this likely isn't something I'll be doing forever. Like, later, later in life, I'll probably like get some really you know, normal office job. I'll be chilling in my office. Know, working on whatever, my assistant will come in with something for me to sign. I'll be like, you know something, man? I used to do comedy. I used to tell jokes. That used to be my thing. I got up on stage. I had a really good time with it for a while, but now, now I don't do it anymore. Now this is what I do. This is my life. This is what I've chosen to do with my life. And he'll say to me, that's great, Mr. President, but we really need you to sign this form. We'll outlaw everything forever. <laughs> All right, the super awesome bill. Let me just sign that there. This calls for a celebration. Call my wives. That's right. In the future, when I'm president, I legalize polygamy. I also legalize cloning. Both of my wives are Charlize Theron. <laughs> All right, you guys have been awesome. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah.